Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Madden NFL 16 where Joe Nero and his 7-5 and Washington Redskins will be playing host to the 7-5 and New York Giants. As I'm sure you guys are well aware, the NFC East has been ridiculous this season with the Giants, myself, and the Cowboys all tied at 7-5 and with the Eagles and their rookie quarterback jumping up to a nice 9-3. and So if we want to make the playoffs, we have to try and make the most out of every single game, especially the games that we have against our division rivals. And of course, we got the Giants this week we have the Vikings next week we have the Eagles the week after that and then for the final game of the season it's gonna be a ton of fun we're gonna be on the road in Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers which I'm from Pennsylvania so I would love to deliver some justice upon Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers for all the years they've destroyed my Browns I think that would be a lot of fun but before we do that we have this we have the New York Giants in our way who are a division rival obviously they have the same record as us so this is gonna be a very important game and we need to do our best to go ahead and win it so what jerseys do we wear I think we all know what jerseys we need to wear. So let's go ahead and change this to the, I believe, 70s throwback helmet. Wait, no, no, no. Go to the official home. There we go. 70s throwback helmet, right? Then you rock your... Um, we could rock normal jersey, but we're going to go 2000 away jersey, 2000 away pants. Actually, the home pants kind of look really cool. I like the white there. But yes, I love the way these jerseys right here look. I, I just think they're amazing. And then in terms of socks, we can actually change around the socks, I think. What do we want? I think the 2000 away socks actually look pretty good on there. So basically, it's the 2000 away jerseys, but with a yellow helmet. But let's try and make our... We gotta make our, our spikes here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Actually, no. I want... I want yellow and black. Can we get yellow and black? That'd be great if we could. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys when the game actually launches. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks. Yeah, Joe Nero. Almost up to 3,000 yards. Almost up to uh, 30 touchdowns. 15 picks. I'm, ah, I don't like that. I don't like how many interceptions I've thrown this season. But, um, yeah, I see I see comments that try and take more risks downfield. And I, the reason why I don't like that is because I throw a lot of interceptions when I take risks downfield. I've already had 15 picks on the season, which... It, it, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a ton, especially when I have almost 30 touchdowns to kind of compare with it. But still, it's like I don't like throwing interceptions. It's just it's a giant pet peeve of mine. I hate when I do it, and I'm doing everything I can to not do that. But right now, we're actually in the wild card, as you guys saw right there. We are actually, right now, where we're sitting, we are in sixth place in the NFC. We are barely squeaking into the playoffs, even though we have a pretty good record. If we can win this game, not only will it make it so... We are like more competitive within the NFC East. It's going to bump up our chances of actually being in the playoffs as well as it will guarantee we don't have a losing season because it will be our eighth win of the year. So even if we lose out after this game, assuming we win, we will still finish eight and eight, which is what we finished in my rookie season. So fun fact, Joe Nero's never had a losing season. I played one full season and we went eight and eight. So <laughs> this is my second season and we are seven and five. It looks like uh, OBJ is going to be getting... The ball here to start, but uh, I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about it. Hopefully, we can stop them, which we have. We have the ball in their four-yard line. What happened? What happened? They want me to get a touchdown catch to my backup tight end. Why exactly would I try to do that thing when I can just run some halfback dives here? Why are we on their four-yard line? I'm going to screw this up. I can already tell you guys I'm going to screw this up. Something is going to happen. Get up there, play. One play touchdown. <laughs> Well, this is going well. <laughs> CJ, 25th of the career. Nice job, man. Nice job. I mean, he worked for him. I mean, look at that. Woo. <laughs> what happened when we got the ball in the four-yard line? We had to have had like a long interception return or something. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. One play, one touchdown. See, interception by Culver, who returned it for 20 yards, apparently. All right. That is that is just amazing. I am just, oh. <laughs> All right. So, if we can stop them. Oh, now it's, like, tied up. No. I wanted to have, like, a lead. Like, for, like I wanted to, like, get the ball with the lead in a nice comfort zone. But uh, it's 7-7 seven to seven right now. Let's do the same play we ran that touchdown with, which got stuffed by their linebacker. He came in untouched. Untouched. All right, where is our play? Where is our play? Play. Where is it? Where is it? Why is it hiding from me? Fade smash. There it is. Fade smash is one I like to run a lot. Um, I'm that way with Madden. Some people maybe like to use like a wide variety of plays, but uh, I typically find plays that work for me, and then I typically run them a lot. 
Now, let's see here. Jordan Reed's going to be open. There he is. Woohoo! Oh, Jordan burned him. <laughs> 30 yards, Jordan Reed. You don't mess with him. Best tight end in the league, at least here in my season. <laughs> He's actually leading the league in touchdown catches. Oh, Joe Nero throwing the laser. Jordan Reed making the catch, making the miss. But unfortunately, getting caught by whoever number 29 is. Ah. Oh. I mean, I don't expect Jordan Reed to burn everybody and run like a 60-yard touch. I, I don't expect that to happen. <laughs> and let's see if we can get a halfback dive here where we actually get some blocking. All right, not bad. I think he got maybe two yards out of that. The first play of the game where we ran the touchdown, that was his best run by far. By far. Let's try his slants here. They won three receptions to Pierre. I could look for Pierre. Uh, maybe. We'll see. And actually, Pierre's going to be there. There you go, Pierre. Atta boy. Atta boy. Now it's going to be what? Third and three on their 38. So we really need to try and make sure uh, that we get this first down because we're in that weird part of the field where it's too long for a field goal, too short for a punt, in my opinion. So we're going to try and hit the Sean on this crossing route here. And there he is. There you go, Deshaun. I waited to the last second and took a heck of a crack, but you know what? I haven't been injured yet in my career, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that. But here we are driving, guys. We're in field goal range at least. The thing here is just don't screw up. Don't turn the ball over. That's all I need to focus on. Oh, gosh. They are really stuffing that halfback dive. They are really stuffing our dives today. I wonder... I wonder if it would be better for us to maybe, uh, we're going to try the same play, but have a different formation. Not the halfback dive, but the, uh, am I in the right formation? Uh, slot wing. No, slot wing is what I'm looking for. We're going to try fade smash out of the slot wing. Um, I wonder if we're going to have to start going outside a little bit more. Maybe if we're going to have to start maybe going for some, uh, oh gosh, you want, okay, you want to come at me like that? You want to run at me like that? Whoop! Oh, I wanted to juke him. I wanted to juke him out of his shorts. <laughs> but I'm wondering, if, again, to get to my point, I'm wondering if we should maybe start running some more slants or something like that. I don't know. And that's the end of the first, I believe. Heck of a first quarter. Heck of a first quarter. Let us try a slant here. Actually, a dive looks like it might work better. Can I audible into a dive? I can. I can audible into a dive. Get up there, buddy. And the linebacker completely, they, they whiffed the block on him. So CJ's really having a hard time getting anything going. I thought after the first play that we would be pretty solid in terms of our run game because he ran a nice four-yard touchdown and was barely touched. Um, obviously, things have been a bit more difficult since then. And there's Pierre. Get that ball. I was really hoping Deshaun was going to be able to block for him right there. I was really hoping for that. But we only need two yards here, guys. Two yards. Let's go back to the formation we were at before. Um, let's see if it'll work. I mean, this is the this is the exact same play that we ran that touchdown with. It may be able to work again. Maybe. I'm going to go, actually. I'll pull this into a slant. So we're going to look for Garcon on the slants. And there he is. No. Oh, I thought that was intercepted. I thought that was intercepted. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> that was, and actually, we completed our drive goal with that because that was Pierre's third catch of the drive. And he also got a touchdown, his second of the year. I get slammed into the ground, but I really thought that was picked. Wait, I might want to do a replay. Was that picked and then, like, somehow went into the guy's hand? Hold on here. I, I can't look at the replay because it's too late now. Darn it. Darn it. Maybe, I don't know what I can do to see, but um, let's just go sim the player turn, I suppose, and hope that they don't score. Come on, defense! <sighs> we need you guys to like I don't want to shoot out I, I don't have the confidence in myself to win a shootout <laughs> all right right up the middle we go ah we got six carries for six yards and we might I don't want to abandon the run I don't I do not want to abandon the run uh, I do want to run a fade smash though because I just like this play a lot and actually let's see what let's see what their free safety is doing Let's send Sam on a straight up fly route here and let's actually see if maybe they're going to leave Sam open and they're not. My X is wide open, but you know what? Block for me, buddy. Get up there and block for me. Well, doesn't matter. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take another 20 yard scamper. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to if we're going to have trouble running the ball, let's try let's try a stretch here just to see. If we're going to have trouble running the ball with CJ, uh, I'll do the running myself, but they seem just hell bent on stopping the inside run game. So we are going to try the outside game here. Ah, see, that's why I like the outside. They always seem to whiff it, 
And then the defensive end or the outside linebacker is just grab them on the outside. It's completely dependent on whether or not um, they're going to be able to cover or block, I should say, the defensive end or the outside linebacker on the side that we're trying to run into. Uh, let's send Fells on and in, just as a safety valve here. We're actually going to be looking deep. And there he is, Sam Nunley. Oh, I slightly overthrew him. He's a short guy. I don't even know if he's six feet or not. But uh, that was actually a pretty good throw. Um, he was just a little bit short. Um, you know, he's not that tall. <laughs> I, I only know how tall Sam Nunley is. We can actually check here. Um, just because just, just I'm sure maybe some people would be interested to know. We can find out. Uh, how tall exactly is Sam Nunley? Uh, he is six foot even, two hundred and five pounds. Like my receivers are all short. Pierre's six foot, five ten for Deshaun, six foot, six foot two for Boykin. So my fourth and fifth, uh, they're relatively tall. But uh, for the most part, I don't have that big you know receiver to throw up to, which I really like having those big receivers like your Randy Mosses, your Calvin Johnsons. I like throwing to those guys a lot. Um, unfortunately, I just don't have anybody on my team that kind of fits that build. But we're going to be looking here for Sam Nunley on the uh, crossing route here. This is a play that works a lot of the time for us. And there he is. Good Sam. Yeah, buddy. He held on to it and everything. Freaking beautiful. Beautiful, Sam. You beast. You beast. All right. Sam, how would you like to be just a hero for everybody? Oh, Sam's not even in there. It's looking like it's Boykin. Boykin maybe... Oh, it looks like Boykin's going to be very open on this deep post. And there he is. Get up there, Boykin! He came down with it! What a beast! <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so happy right now. Ice past 3,000 passing yards on the season, boys. Just past 3,000 yards. Things are going good in this game. We're in a shootout, essentially. The goal here is not to turn over the ball. So we're going to try to go back to a nice run play. CJ looks pretty tired. Maybe we should put in the backup. But we're going to go for a nice halfback dive here. CJ gets some nice yards. What was that, four? Maybe five out of that? All right, five yards. Nice five-yard scamper up the middle. I'll take it, buddy. I will take it. Thank you for just not giving up on us. Because his first, he was doing pretty weak there at the very beginning. All right. Two-minute warning. I, was, I wasn't really liking the halfback dive right there anyway. But I think we're going to go into a halfback dive again. I could go play action scissors, but I want to try something different. Do I want to audible this? Oh, it looks like there's far too many people. Hmm. We're going to go for the dive. Screw it. We're going to go for the dive. Give up there, CJ. Two touchdowns. See, he's got 1,000 XP. CJ's got a ton of XP, which is actually great. More XP for him, the better he's going to be uh, towards the final couple games this season. Plus... Um, the Barry's going to be hopefully in the playoffs that we make it if we make the playoffs. So CJ, two touchdowns. We're doing freaking great defense. Can we please play some defense here? Come on, stop them. For love of crime, any defense. <laughs> this should be a blowout. Not a close game. <laughs> I'm actually scoring points here. Usually my defense is good about holding them off. Not so much this week. We're just going to go for another dive here. We may run out the clock. We'll have to see what we get here. Um... Let's do a hurry up here. Let's do a hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, fade smash. Send you on that. Um, now we're going to be looking for Jordan Reed here. And Okay, they gave me the weird camera angle that I hate so much. I complain about it every game when it happens. Don't you give him a block in the back, Sam. I saw that. That was almost a block in the back. Don't you do that to me. Don't you do that to me. Joe Nero's too busy scrambling around. Um, I say we say screw it. And we try to see if we can possibly get in scoring range here. We're going to look for Sam Nunley on the play action deep outs. Um, not sure if it's going to be there as well as it was last time. Oh, gosh. Woohoo. No, uh, not with that. <laughs> not with that rush. I will throw that out. I will just throw that away. No, thank you. Let's swap this to the four verts and send CJ Anderson as an, on pass protection because it typically works better that way. We're going to see if we can hit Sam down the field again like we did earlier. All right, all right, all right. Sam's kind of there, but the ground game is even more there. We have nine seconds, and we're on the 44. I'm having a really good game right now. I don't want to jinx myself here. But, hmm, what can we do? Nine seconds, nine seconds. I think we just go to the pistol, go to the slot wing, and then hit him with a fade smash. We've been running the fade smash all game. And if Fells can get open on this, then we'll be pretty solid in field goal range. I hope anyway. All right, Fells. This is all you, buddy. And it's open. Get it, Fells. 
Hold, get down, get down. All right, and timeout. Nice timeout. We got our drive goal of getting in scoring range and everything. All right, got our timeout here. Whew. So help me if we miss this field goal. So help me if we miss this field goal. If we miss this field goal. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. Okay, because I was worried I was going to press A to try and skip to the play calling. And then the play calling will pop up as I press A. And it'll make me call some stupid play or something. I don't know. So, this is what. Uh, you add 17 yards to whatever yard line you're on, basically. That's the length of your field goal. So, it's going to be 42 yards. Please make this, man. Please make this. He made it! He made it! Ooh hoo hoo! All right, we're up 24-21. That might have been the most exciting first half that we've had this season. And now we sim two player turn, which we get the ball right away. And why are we on our own two yard line? What messed up about that kickoff return that we're on our own two yard line? <laughs> All right, well, CJ, you need to hit the hole hard and fast to get us out of the shadow of our own end zone here. That'd be great. He has 11 carries for 23 yards, but he does have two touchdowns. So we're trying. We ain't giving up. Let's, uh, let's go for a slants here. They want Jordan Reed to get some yards after the catch here. I'm not worried about that right now. Right now, I'm worried about getting out of this horrible, horrible field position that we're in. And there he is. Pierre Garçon, who's coming into his own here to the second half of the season. He's actually starting to get some catches and whatnot, and I'm liking it. I am liking it. Um, we'll go with the halfback dive here. We're just going to continue to go small ball right now just until we get to a safe field position because if we do end up having to punt, I don't want to punt from all the way back here. I want to make sure we get some yards before we take any risks. And let's hit him with a fade smash. We're just gonna keep we're gonna keep going at him, man. Keep going at him. I'm actually gonna be looking at Pierre as my like number one target on this play. Um, although typically the tight end's been open throughout the game, so we'll have to see if he's gonna be open again. And he is. There he is. Oh no! I jumped on it right as I was throwing it. Ah, that was a good play. Ah, now they have the ball in really good field position. Really good field position. Ah, I should just. I saw it. I'm like, he's going to be there. But the moment I threw it, he jumped on it. I thought I could try and wedge it in there. But, um, ah, that's painful, man. That's painful. Here comes Shane Vereen, former New England Patriot. I can't skip past any of this, by the way. I was trying to. <laughs> oh, that's super depressing. So they're probably going to score. If our, yep, if our defense is, uh, has anything to say about it. And now we are going to be playing from behind, just a smidgen. Let's send Sam deep. We're going to be looking for Sam deep, maybe. All right, Sam's not going to be there deep, but all right. Well, I was throwing off my back foot there, but by golly, that was just an awful, awful, awful throw. Um, what can we do? All right, we're going to try the old tried and true. Let's go play action scissors just to see if we can get a first down. They want CJ to have two catches to regain his confidence. We can set that up with halfback screens, but we're going to have to actually get to the point where we can throw some of them. Right now, we've got Jordan Reed on a beautiful route. Beautiful route. Nice first down. 10 of 14. All right, so let's bump this out. If we need to, if we can regain his confidence and make it so the run game is kind of viable again, I would love that. So we're going to run a halfback screen. It's pretty easy to get two catches to CJ. CJ's pretty good about catching the ball. And all right, there we go. They blitzed almost everybody, it felt like. There we go. Get up there, CJ. CJ, he got caught. All right, I don't care. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo, 31 yards after the catch. I'll take that. I thought he was going to hit in the backfield, to be honest. And he didn't. And yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, gosh, just, I don't like this game. I like blowouts. <laughs> I'd rather be blowing them out right now. Oh, look at that. He misses. He gets just pancaked. And then CJ just scampers down the field. Freaking beautiful. And what is that other play that I used to run? Yeah, I think it was out of this formation, maybe. There was a play that I ran sh out of the shotgun. Or I think a lot of people would go deep. I'm going to run out of time here. Um, we're going to run the four verts here. It was basically he would end up, the running back would end up running an out route. Oh, no, he's not even in. He's not even in. Oh, but Sam Nunley's about to have one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'm putting it up there. I'm putting it up there for you, Sam. Oh, come on. This is why I don't take chances. 
Ah, uh, it's gonna start happening, guys. It's gonna start happening. They're just gonna start intercepting freaking everything. We And they're gonna... Oh, uh, did we actually stop them? Holy goodness, we actually stopped them. All right. But, ah, uh, that's super disappointing. I mean, that's what you have to do on those fly routes. You have to really put it up there. But you never know what's gonna happen when you put the ball up there. And so you definitely risk an interception, which is why I stopped throwing down the field for a while there. Um, all right. And there's why I overthrew him slightly. But then again, this, that's my, like, fourth string receiver, so he's not exactly a speedy one. But, yeah, that's why I try to avoid throwing down the field too often. Um, because a lot of times, it, if the defender wants to, they'll jump up and take it from you. And there's little you can do for, about it from the quarterback perspective. And, oh, gosh! He was there, but then, like, the ball, like, I didn't throw it where I wanted it to be thrown. It was just an odd route that I threw there. <sighs> what do we do here, guys? What do we do here? I feel this amazing game slowly starting to slip away from us, and I'm not happy about it. They don't want me to throw an interception. That, so that means even if we have to punt, I'll complete the drive goal. But, um, I'd prefer to actually just... And there... Come on with these throws! I think my confidence is shook because I've thrown two picks. I was like, actually, I was like slinging these things in and out like really well at the very beginning of the game. But now I'm really starting to have some difficulty with my throws. Um, they're a little bit behind or they're a little bit too far forward or, you know, what have you. I think my confidence is shook because I threw those two interceptions and therefore I'm going to have trouble throwing. I hope that's not the case. We have to get through that somehow. Oh, we're going to need some help from the defense here. And we completed our drive goal, so maybe that'll up my confidence a bit, but um, we're really going to need the defense to step up here. They are not helping us out much, and we got the ball back and on our own 41-yard line. I'll take that. <clears throat> they want me to run for 15 yards. I could probably swing that. Um, we're going to go for play-action scissors here, though. And it's there, like it always is. Come on! My quarterback is just... Oh, come on. Don't Don't make us lose like this. Do not lose like this. It's so annoying when I feel as though it's out of my control. Right? Just throw the ball right, please. Yes, I'm also I'm very tired of the three and out business. No one likes the three and out business. And all right, well, I'm gonna need somebody to block. Whoop! All right, well, I tried to spin, but apparently I tried to throw, which ended up working out for the best, I suppose. They are not. Oh, they're sixth ranked in takeaways. I didn't actually know that, so they're actually apparently just pretty good at taking the ball away from us. Oh, we need. And he's. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need, I need a replay. Can I have a replay, please? Can I please have a replay as to how that was possibly a bad throw? Replay, please. Replay. Nope, not yet. Not yet. All right, can I have it now? I, I know they're going to get... All right, here we go. Why exactly did I throw the ball into the dirt? I would love to know this. I'm dropping back. There's me. Hmm. So, so for no reason whatsoever, I just threw the ball into the dirt on somebody who was wide open to get a very easy first down. All right, Madden, I'm not going to lie. Your random RNG with your throws are really starting to annoy me. It's making the series not fun when the game is taken out of my hands because you want to randomly screw me over. It's not fun. It's not fun for anybody. Please stop this. <sighs> the Redskins call well, for the punt. guess we're going to have to punt because that's what John Madden wants us to do. It feels like I'm talking directly to John Madden. I'm talking to the, to the like EA, to the Madden itself, the game's entity, if it has one. You know, it's not fun when you take control of the game out of my hands. Especially when I'm I'm a quarterback, I can only control my one player. I can't control everything. I can't control all the players. I can't control the AI players. I can't control the defense. I can't control my receivers running back the offensive line. I can't control any of that. The one thing I can control is myself. And you're taking away my control by making it so I just randomly throw passes in the dirt. That's not fun for anybody. All right, that is not fun for anybody. Now, hopefully they don't score and we get the ball back and we can make another shot at this. All right. Play action scissors. And he is wide open because nobody's there. Ah, uh, but the reason why he was so open because I was being blitzed by like eight people. Uh, their pass defense is one of the worst in the league, and we're sitting here struggling. 
We're sitting here struggling the latter half of the game here. I'm not happy about it, guys. I'm not happy about it. Um, we're going to look for a post hitch. That's going to send Deshaun deep. Jordan Reed on a nice post. And maybe, just maybe, CJ. All right, so we're looking to Sean deep. Deshaun, this is up to you. Don't let him take that from you. And he drops it. He drops it. He drops it. But there, it was knocked out. No, that's a drop. If it hits their hands, I played receiver, right? If it hits your hands and you don't come down with it, that's a drop. It doesn't matter if they knock it out. You still drop the ball. And there it was. And he actually fell on the ground, too. So, like, if he would have actually held on to that, that would have been a touchdown. That would have been just, oh, so good. All right, so we're going to look for Jordan Reed here. And he's there. Holy crap, is he there? Oh, he actually held on to it. That was a slightly bad throw by going way farther ahead of him than it needed to be. But um, he ended up coming down with it because Jordan Reed's a superstar, and we all love him. All right, so here we're going to look for same idea. Uh, maybe Deshaun Deep if they leave him there. Nope, they're going to leave Jordan Reed again. Why are they leaving him so open? I don't know. I can't tell you guys. I'm not a doctor or a lawyer. I don't know. But he's Jordan Reed's definitely coming back after that pretty terrible week he had last week. Let's go. Uh, we have backups in right now, which I'm not super keen on. But I would like to see a play action deep outs here to a Jira 2 2. But I don't know if that's going to work. We can take a look. We can take a peek. It's not looking like it's going to be there. But you know what is going to be there? This run is most certainly going to be there. Oh, did I, get, did I cross it? I think I crossed it. Yeah, I did. All right. Sick. 40 yards on offense. We completed our drive goal. Let us try. Let's try some cheekiness. Uh, let's go to a. Yeah, I like this formation here. And let's try the halfback slip screen. It worked really well for us earlier. Let's see if CJ can make some uh, make some plays, make a couple people miss. Uh, looks like they're covering it, so I'm dumping it off over to my to my tight end here. They looked it looked like they were going to be covering the screen, and they left Jordan Reed wide open. So I figured, hey, this is Jordan Reed we're talking about. We're going to give him the ball. Let's try the exact same play because if they decide that they want to cover CJ, it looks like Jordan Reed might be very open. I don't know. And they're not covering the screen. Okay, they were. It looked like they weren't. It looked like he was blitzing. But the defense is actually they're doing a pretty good job of faking me out here. They really are. Um, we're going to go to the pistol. Go to the pistol slot. And we're going to try the... Uh, wait, no, not pistol slot. It's pistol slot wing that has the fade smash. The reason why I want a fade smash here is the drag route that I send my X receiver on typically works. If not, we got Jordan Reed. All right, so it's looking like it's going to be my X receiver. Get up there, buddy. Yes, Pierre. You're Oh, my goodness, Pierre. You are just, you are helping so much this game. You have no idea. Let's go for a halfback dive. I want to get closer and closer, and then we're going to hit him with the old ace and the whole play action scissors in the end zone to Jordan Reed. That's what I'm hoping for here, guys. We just need to get a little bit closer. Oh, go look at them go. Look at them. Oh, oh Kerwin Williams. Make them miss. Let's. Let's continue messing with them. Let's mess with them here. If, if they're going to give up that many yards on one play, maybe they're tired. Maybe they're weak right now. Let's hit them hard. Get up there. Ah, fight. Ah, he was fighting for it. He wanted it. He wanted it. Ah, now, but now we're in like a weird, like, weird situation where it's going to be like third and one. Um, Two-minute warning. That's probably for the best. We can get CJ back in there, and CJ can probably get it for us, I'm hoping. Um... CJ, we're gonna need we're gonna go 0 1 trap because I think that's a little bit faster of a play. Right up the middle, CJ. As fast as you can possibly run. Right up the middle. North and south, CJ. North and south. There we go, buddy. I'm not even sure if I want to go for play action scissors at this point. I may just continue to try and run the ball in there because it seems safer. Because with the way I've been throwing interceptions this game, this may be a better route. Wait, 61? Are you kidding me, man? What was that? You're this is our field. It's not like the crowd was getting to you. This is our home stadium. Like, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, now we're on the 10-yard line. We are going to try that play action scissors. We are going to try and hit Jordan Reed in the end zone. Whew. Come on, Jordan. And I'm getting blitzed, so I had to throw it up. And Jordan drops it. Come on, man. That would have been beautiful. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to try the same play. We're going to try the same play because it works. Oh, they're even bumping up the strong safety. This play is going to be there, Jordan. You just have to come down with it. You just have to come down with it, Jordan. Just, there he is. He's a beast. He's a beast. You can't mess with him. 
You can't mess with him. Jordan Reed. What, last week, he had one catch for 20 yards with a couple of drops. That's all he did last week. This week, 100 yards, I'm assuming. Uh, touchdown. Beautiful catch. Awesome replay. Oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. Best tight end in the league. At least in this, at least in Madden. At least in my Madden. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. All right, so here's the scary part. We're about to go up by three. Can our defense stop them from scoring? So next play, we actually made the extra point. All right, fantastic. All right, so now we did a nice kickoff there. Went for a touchback. We're starting on the 20-yard line. First play, Eli Manning goes for one yard. Second play, Eli Manning goes incomplete. So it's now the third and nine. Third play, they get 10 yards. First down. Uh, next next series, um, or next, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. Uh, it's first down. He throws an incompletion. It's now second and 10. Uh, there was another completion. Now third and ten. Those for oh, can we stop. He keeps like doing terrible and then throws to OBJ and that like, gets the first down. So he gets twenty four yards. Nice first down. Uh, he gets a three yard carry, which so it's now second and seven. He gets another three yard carry. So now it is second and four. And uh, now he gets a pass dropped by OBJ. It's fourth and four. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is literally the ball game. And by the way, isn't it annoying that we can't just watch this and I have to, like, go play-by-play play here? Fourth and four. We got the ball back! It's over, boys! It's over! Victory formation! Where's the victory formation? Special teams, victory formation, quarterback, Neil. It's all over, boys! Where's that fallout song? It's all over! Oh, uh, where's the tactical nuke? It's over, boys. They're going to call timeouts, but it doesn't matter. They don't have enough timeouts. Holy crap. This is, like, literally, like, the best game I think we've had in this series where you just never know what's going to happen next. Whew. That's the fun of this series. You never know. And, and by the way, uh, just to, to some of you guys out there, like, I would love, like, w when people write, like, congrats on the win and stuff like that in the comments. But please, in the comments of, your, of these Madden videos, please never actually directly reference... Um, like whether or not I win or lose the game because people might see that and it kind of spoils the fun of the series which the fun of the series is the very fact that you never know what's going to happen every single play you never know what's going to happen you don't know if I'm going to win you don't know if I'm going to lose you know nothing right that's the best part of it in my own personal opinion here so let's just go down here to recent plays and we're going to go out there for another quarterback Neil just to make sure, because I guarantee if I hit punt, the AI is actually going to punt it off. And so I'm not going to allow them to do that. I'm going to make sure we're out here in the victory formation. The clock expires. We freaking win. Oh, my God. That was insane. To say the least, that was <sighs> stressful. Really, more than more than anything. Jordan Reed and Joe Nero. Oh, that's a combo right there. I hope Jordan, wherever I go in my Madden career, I want to make sure Jordan Reed's with me, man. Because that guy, between me and him, we're going to set some records. I, I promise you guys that. We will set some records. But look at that. Oh, man. So we were just ever close. The second half was not nearly as high scoring for either team. I'm just thankful our defense was able to keep us in it while we were struggling in the second half. Because in the first half, our defense was struggling. And we as the offense, we were we were making up for that, right? We were making up. And I still don't understand how that was a touchdown. Um... <laughs> We were making up for the lack of defense in the first half by putting up a lot of points. In the second half, our offense was struggling and our defense stepped up. It's just a really good all-around team game. Everybody played their role. Um, had some very unfortunate mishaps um, with some terrible throws and some interceptions. But um, aside from that, it was just a really good game, I thought. It looks like Eli was lighting up in the passing game. We did pray ball on the ground. Well, actually, I did pray well on the ground. C.J. Anderson was struggling, but he ran for two touchdowns, so how much was he really struggling? Um, yeah, look at Eli here. He threw 38 passes, 300 yards. He ended up throwing two picks, though, which uh, kind of really helped us. I went 17-31, 241 yards, two touchdowns, two picks with a long of 34. Now, if we go over here to their running game, C.J. had 13 carries, 33 yards, two touchdowns. I ran for 73 yards to the ground, which I think if, if I would have gotten two more yards, I would have gotten... An XP bonus, maybe. Maybe I did get uh, that XP bonus, but the quarterback Niels uh, took away my 75 yards. I don't know how that works. Um, Receiving-wise, Pierre, five catches, 39 yards, and a touchdown. Jordan Reed was close to another 100-yard game, five for 93 and a touchdown. Then we had backup tight end Darren Fells, two catches, uh, 29 yards. CJ, two catches, 24 yards. Boykin, one for 34. Sam Nunley, 
and then Deshaun Jackson. So I was spreading the ball around a little bit, but Pierre, who would have thought Pierre Garçon would be our top receiver? Although technically he isn't. He had the same amount of catches, less yards, and the same amount of touchdowns as Jordan Reed. So uh, Pierre is coming to his own here at the end of the season, which is definitely pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's actually kicking, kicking, kicking. Yeah, Kevin Cole, he made the one field goal that he needed to make, and that field goal was one of the reasons we won, because we won by three points. So that was just a fantastic overall game. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Madden NFL 16 playthrough. And if you did, drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.